Hello there, my darling friends. Happy Friday to you. Welcome to a speed build on the channel that is Devon Bumpkin YouTube.com something. <laughs> Failed that. Failed that joke. But anyway, here we are. Look at us. We are in Mount Kamarebi. We are building a Japanese esque noodle bar. But this is actually a house. I just really wanted to create a small apartment above a noodle bar. So I needed to get a noodle bar in here. So the noodle bar is fully functioning. You could use it if you wanted. But obviously with The Sims 4 and their limitations with residential and kind of retail, restaurants, etc. Living, it doesn't really work like that. So this is just a noodle bar underneath an apartment, to be honest with you. You could make this into a restaurant if you wanted to. Um, but I was going in with this being in mind of this is going to be an apartment. So that is exactly what this is, really. It's just a really nice little apartment build done in a Jap Japanese-esque kind of style. Now, you would probably see this more along the lines of being somewhere maybe in Tokyo. I did think, oh, shall I do this a bit more of a traditional looking build with a noodle bar underneath and then have... And I was like, no, because I really want to have the apartment very modern, very sleek, very tiny. It would probably be definitely classed as a tiny house above it. Um, but I just thought, you know what, I'm just going to go for a modern look. So here is me working on the noodle bar down below. And then what I do is just make the building look very modern with the concrete that I've put on the walls already there. And I was like, I want a little platform out the front here. I got inspired from an image that I saw on Pinterest. I think it was on Pinterest of this illustration of a noodle bar. And I was like, ah, oh, I want to kind of recreate that slightly in The Sims. So I got lots of inspir inspiration from there and then just did my own thing. And that's, this is what I came up with. And I think it's really cute. It's very cute. Everything works. I've player tested the tits off of it, darlings. Um, and it works. It works. It works very well, especially the little living area upstairs. So this could be cute if you've got a, like a, a, I don't know, a couple. I reckon two Sims could live in here quite comfortably. Um, and you just want like a little bit of storyline with their little shop that they've got underneath. Maybe they don't even own it. They just live above it. And you could go around that kind of route. You know, imagination, darlings. It is your oyster. Is that the word? No, the world is your oyster. <laughs> Our imagination's your oyster? <laughs> Definitely not. But, um, you know, we're going <laughs> we're gonna to go with that. We're going to go with that. Um, how are you lot? I hope you all are good. I've had such a fun week on the channel. Looking forward to next week as well. Delving more into Let's Build the World. I cannot bloody wait. We are going to make Dave's house. And I cannot wait for that because he's a character. And I think you're all going to love him. I've already made him in Create Sim. Um, and I don't think you're going to love him. I think you're going to love to hate him. He's going to be a hateful character. Uh, but yeah, I've just had loads of fun this week. And especially on Twitch as well. I've had so much fun on Twitch this week. Main reasons being, I love, don't get me wrong, I love building in The Sims. I'll never, ever get tired of it. But lately, I've just been with streaming and building on The Sims and building for YouTube and stuff as well. I've just been like, oh, I keep getting like creative block. And so I'm taking time away on Twitch from The Sims for the meantime. I don't know how long it lasts for, maybe a few weeks. But it's just been nice to delve into some other games on Twitch and just, you know, not having to do Sims all the time. It's it's good. It's good. And it's like with everything, you just need it in moderation sometimes, don't you? So that is exactly what I did um, on Twitch. And I'm having so much fun with the new Resident Evil game. We are pooping our pants all together and I'm very much for it. If you do want to watch any of that back, by the way, you can literally go over to Twitch. Um, it's linked down below. And my videos are saved for like 90 days, I think, the videos or the streams get saved for. So if you miss any, you can always go over and watch. I'm not plugging Twitch. Well, I am kind of plugging Twitch. You know what? I am. I'm proud of my Twitch. So if you do want to go over there, you can. But we're not. We're on YouTube, so we're going to stop talking about it. Yes, we are indeed. So this little area out here, I was like, this just needs some decorations. So obviously I put some plants up. I put that little like crab catcher or whatever it was as well. And then I started sizing down lots of like little grassy bits just to put some detail on this like otherwise plain looking concrete and just make it look like these grassy bits are kind of growing out between the cracks. Um, all those little touches. I, you know me by now. I'm a detailing whore. 
And I just love to put in little details. And I don't know, I really enjoyed doing that. I just thought it was cute. So I definitely want to do a build one day, kind of looking at more of the minute details in like flowers growing out of cracks and whatnot. Maybe I could do like some kind of like apocalyptic build or something along those vibes. If you want some amazing apocalyptic builds, go and watch the um, Simmer The Sim stream. She does some incredible builds like that are apocalyptic vibe. I, I want to go through with that and maybe do something in the future. I don't know. Maybe soon. Don't know. But here we are. We're putting cracks and crevices all over this house like it's going out of fashion. Now, not necessarily every building in Japan has got cracks and stuff in it. But I, my, my mind, I was thinking, oh, they have a lot of earthquakes and stuff. So I want to make this maybe look like it's been through a bit of the mill. And just make it look a little bit more semi-rundown, a little bit more realistic. It doesn't necessarily fit into this area of Mount Komarebi, but I, I like it anyway. So I decided to do it here. And it's I made sure to try and pay respect to a lot of the Japanese culture um, with use of like genkans and um, smaller kitchen areas and stuff. So that is what I tried to do with this. And it worked. I really, really like the outcome of this. And I, I think you guys, once you go and download it off the gallery, You'll love it. Sorry, I'm just moving around in my seat and rearranging myself. That sounds a bit filth. I promise I was <laughs> rearranging myself. Just my seating position. <laughs> oh, Aiden, can you never not just have one voiceover where you're not an absolute filthy heathen? And I think the answer to that, as we all know by now, is no. No, I cannot. Um, But yeah, this little area here is... I, I was trying to mimic... A few of the planters that are kind of around this world. Um, so I use these little amazing little wall pieces that are in live edit. I can't remember where they're from. I don't know. I don't want, I do not know what pack they're from. I can't remember. I should know that because I use them to death. But I just wanted to try and blend in this little area into the world. You can kind of see me looking over to the other area to try and see what plants we use. And I tried to mimic the plants and stuff used around them, including these big, beautiful trees that I have no idea what the species is. Um, but yeah, I'm for it. Absolutely for it. Oh, you'll be all pleased to know as well, I have named my apple tree. She is called Peggy Sue. Peggy Sue has came to join us. Um, and I cannot believe, like, there's loads of blossom on it at the minute. I was supposed to have put pictures up on um, Discord. No, not Discord. Instagram for you guys. But I completely forgot. I completely forgot. So... I'm in the garden, hopefully this weekend, doing some gardening. So I'll flop up a picture of Peggy Sue if I, if, I, if the weather's good. But um, what I was going to say is there's loads of blossom on it. And it's attracting so many bees into my garden. I'm absolutely for that. I've already bought three big boxes of like wild meadow flowers that attract bees and cottage garden flowers. So I'm going to do a big flower bed of just that kind of flowers this year so i'm hoping for good weather this weekend so i can get out there and actually do it so i can sow the seeds darling and i've bought some sunflowers as well that was today i actually went and got i went for a little walk on the beach sat on a bench with my best friend and we had a past day like the southwesterns we are um and uh i bought some sunflower seeds i know riveting chat we're having now but i've I've never, I remember growing sunflowers when I was really young and I was thinking, do you know what? I want to do it. So I did put some sunflower seeds and I'm going to grow them inside first. I've got like a little like cultivating station where you can grow seedlings and then pop them out in the garden. So I'm going to do that and then hopefully I'll get the nice big row of sunflowers when the sun starts to creep in. I'm very much for it. Can't wait. But um, yeah, there, there we go. There's my flower chat. Did you enjoy that? <laughs> Bet you enjoyed that. Lovely. So the actual apartment area itself, I'm going to talk about that first before we go into the interiors. Uh, it's a mezzanine level. It's got like a kitchen and small living space with a kind of breakfast bar area on the kind of like first floor. And then up on the mezzanine level is the bedroom and the bathroom and the toilet. So just so you know, before we move into there. So this is the little noodle bar area. Now you could, as I said, make this into a restaurant if you would, if you wanted to. You could put a few extra bars, um, bar stools down there outside, maybe a few more outside seating spaces. 
and you'd probably need to put in the host station and also the waiter station as well and then it's a fully functional restaurant so you could do that but as i said this was just mainly for decoration yes but also gameplay because you could like i don't know you could you could make you could pretend that somebody worked here and they were cooking you yeah, know i don't need to explain you know you know you've got imagination thriving so yes that's what we did and i really liked this blue tile i'm loving that blue tile it reminds me of old like fish and chip shops in the uk usually well not usually but the ones that i've always been in a very dark emerald green i wish there was a swatch like that on them because i think that would have been great to use um but yeah so this is the actual little kitchen area now this whole area actually has got a little, this bit here is for the staff i thought oh this what if the staff wanted to come and just chill out and have some lunch so i gave them a mini fridge and a little microwave um and i think it works i think it really really works i used the little like dining station as well where they sit with the i don't know what it's called so forgive my ignorance on what it's called um i raised it up on a platform and they use it they found it, like, i was surprised that they use it because it's got a bigger um space need like the platform i've done is like a two by three and i think it needs to be three by three but they still use it so i was happy with that it's not on the platform just yet i think that changes a little bit in a bit and i had to put down some um tatami mats am i saying that right i'm probably not and i'm so sorry if i'm not um and i've probably not done them the right orientation either but this is just the sims you know um i'm just i'm trying i'm trying to do things <laughs> And it does work and i end up putting these little like yeah these little um ceiling joist things up on the what do you call them joy i don't know but we put them up and i think they look nice i think i just wanted a little bit of structure in here and just a little bit more detail so that's what i did and i moved that plant down there with the tool mod because it was floating i was fuming about it <laughs> fuming uh using lots of stuff from snowy escape um don't really need to say why there's just lots of these beautiful little pieces that I just think matched well in here. And I just thought this like little shop needed a little staff area in itself. So yeah, you'd have to get into the staff area through the back as well. There's no entrance really through the actual uh, front of the store itself because that was mainly just for the residential. So that's what I did. I thought it looked really cute. And here we are in the actual apartment itself. So the apartment's actually got two balconies as well, which is really cool. Um, one of them I did with like the vertical planters. They can grow their own veg and whatnot. And then the one off the bedroom, I put like a washer and dryer out there. So it's fully functional. It's got quite a lot of things to do in this small little space, which is what I wanted really. Just a nice little modern apartment above a noodle shop. And I like it. I really, really like how it came out. Obviously, there I had to get them to use a ladder to get up to the mezzanine. This is the little Genkan area here. So I made sure to put some storage down there. Um, from my kind of knowing from, and this is only from watching like Japanese uh, vloggers, uh, Japanese like apartments have a lot of storage because they haven't got a lot of space. So I tried to make that apparent and it kind of helped separate the Genkan from the kitchen area. It's got this like little like divide moment that I was, yeah, I was happy with. And I like it and it works and new sims can get everywhere and use everything as well ended up putting a murphy bed in here in the actual uh, bedroom itself as well just to give again a little bit more room and it would allow a double bed so easily two sims could um move into this place quite comfortably now i put the hot pot on top of the like counter space and i was wondering if that still worked and it does it works so you know, the more, the more you know, the more you know, you know, you know. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, I'm looking forward to this weekend. Looking forward to chilling out this weekend. I'm going to start off tomorrow by tidying the house top to bottom like I try to most weeks. Um, Well, I, I don't try to. I actually do because I'm a Virgo. So that's what's happening tomorrow. And if it's sunny enough, as I said, I'll be out in the garden get in my charlie dimmock right on if you enjoy who Char charlie dimmock is she is a gardener in the uk she used to have a gardening show um and she never used to wear a bra and i'm absolutely for that because i cannot i don't I, if i had to wear a bra every day my lord i don't know what i'd do so hats off to you 
all you people out there that have to wear a bra <laughs> because I just couldn't. My friend like always says it's the, it's the best thing in the world when you just get home and you take your bra off. And I was like, I've never experienced that joy. She's like, wear one. Just wear one to work for a day. Really tight. And then come home and take it off. <laughs> I was like, I don't think this was when I was working in the salon. I was like, yeah, I don't think I'm going to go to the salon. I was like, Aiden, your bra strap showing. Oh, sorry, darling. Just trying something new. <laughs> But um, yeah, that's me. That's me. So this is the little planter like gardener area off on the first balcony. Um, and weirdly, I was like, oh, shit, because I raised the platform for the actual um, apartment itself. This one was raised up, so I had to put one, the planters down one. So the, the other side of this little bit of balcony was up at the same level. And I was like, oh, will they still use the planters? And they do. They use them absolutely fine. So uh, it's all in the player testing. Whenever you build and you, before you put it on the gallery, even if you are not a content creator, just always make sure you player test it and it helps people out then. Um, and you might miss one or two things. I mean, I, I probably still do to this day, but it just helps. You know, nothing's worse than downloading a build off the gallery and it doesn't bloody work. That used to happen to me a lot because when The Sims 4 first came out, I used to love downloading people's builds and just looking at them. And I still do that from time to time. Um, not very, very rarely, but I just love to look at what people build like. And it's a good way to steal people's ideas as well. I'm, just, I'm joking, by the way. I'm joking. If I steal anything off you, I will always let you know. <laughs> I will always say, I'm stealing that. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. Um, and that's with love, you know. And it helped me. This, um, it helped me. It had uh, enough space up here as well for a little, like office area i would imagine maybe somebody in the work field would live in this apartment and um, so i thought it was needed i thought a nice little bar um, bar area no aiden desk area was needed so that's what i did i did my loves did and using that rug as well i love that lattice rug um first time i've ever seen that swatch obviously completely forgot about it and i was like oh my god i really like that that looks cute up here we're gonna do it um and then sticking of course in with japanese where your the toilet is separate from the bathroom and stuff. I made that apparent throughout this uh, apartment. Um, and yeah, just a small kind of plain bathroom. But I still really like what I did with it. I just, I like, I like actually using those terracotta tiles in this build as well. I thought it really, really worked. Um, yes, very nice indeed. Uh, I do enjoy how this whole thing came out. I really did. And I think the last thing we're going to go and pop off and see now is the kind of balcony area this bit here and this is where i put a washer and dryer and a, a bit more storage as well i use another one of those storage cabinets up here as well maybe they've got like gardening tools or something out there and also some vending machines i put the vending machines off to the side of the build too but that's it my darlings i'm good to leave you now i hope you all have the most amazing weekends i really really do I will be back on Monday with, I think I'm going to start off with a bit of the Potter project on Monday. So yes, have a lovely weekend and I'll see you then.